Welcome back to Cook It Simple with Eric. I'm very excited to bring you another simple recipe today. Today we did a lunch one. We haven't done a lunch recipe for a little while, so today we are going to be making this beautiful. This is a rotisserie chicken salad sandwich. So stay tuned. Let me show you how to make this thing. So to get started, the ingredients that we're going to use, we're going to start out with our rotisserie chicken. This just happens to be garlic and herb because that's the only one that I could find at the grocery store. So it ought to be really good with that. We're going to use about a half a cup of Duke's mayonnaise. We're going to use eh, probably about a half a cup of red onion, red diced onion. I finally diced it. We're going to use eh, not quite a half cup of uh, diced celery. We're also going to do probably about two, maybe three tablespoons of some uh, Dijon mustard. You can use however much you like. I like to put sweet relish in mine. It just adds a little bit of extra sweetness to it on top of the red onion. kind of balances it out real well. So I'll probably do about two, maybe three tablespoons of this. Uh, of course, we'll probably just pepper it to taste. This has a lot of salt in it, so I'll probably just pepper. When we make our sandwich, we're going to do tomato. Of course, I got some lettuce in the refrigerator we're going to use. And I like to use this Pepperidge Farm sourdough bread for it. It's a nice firm bread, toasts up really nicely, and it makes a beautiful sandwich. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, we got to get our rotisserie chicken, get it cut up in the chunks that we want. So let's get started on that. <clears throat> So out of the bag, this rotisserie chicken looks like he's been uh, abused a little bit. Might be a little other part, but it's all good chicken. So what I like to do first, just kind of get these wings out of here, and I like to take the skin off. Just peel it back. You can use it if you like. You can crisp it up if you like. Me, I just, I'm just going to take it back. Now the best time to, to do this, what I'm doing here, is when you get the rotisserie chicken home and it's still kind of warm it just comes apart easier I got it last night so I didn't get a chance to chunk it up like I wanted to but I'll just show you real quick here I won't show you the whole thing but I'll just show you real quick I just strip it down the middle these are real easy because you can take the whole breast strip and bring it out in big chunks and you just want to do that with the whole thing get all the meat out of there because this actually this will produce quite a bit you can probably get five or six really big sandwiches like we're going to make out of this so that jelly stuff out of here which you'll have some of that too so basically what I'm going to do I'm not going to show you the whole thing I like my pieces to be kind of shredded like that you know that that to me makes a perfect chicken salad and I'm just going to do it with every bit of chicken you know, just take it apart just shred it and if you want cut it down the middle but normally you can just pull it apart have pieces like this so let me go ahead and get this all cut up and get into a pile and we'll come back put it all together now that I've got the chicken all chunked up in pieces that I like, you can see all that. We've got quite a bit, so this is going to make quite a bit. So I'm going to set this off to the side. Then we'll bring in this bowl, and we're going to start building our salad mix, I guess we'll call it. And then we'll add the chicken afterwards and get it all stirred in together. So the first thing we want to do start out with our half cup of mayo or you can mayo it to taste or consistency I know I'm, I, I do this quite a bit so I know that a half cup with the rotisserie chicken is just right for me for my preferences all right then we're just going to add our celery which like I said it's probably close to a half cup Finely diced. 
get all that added in. Now, I like to use the red onion because it's kind of bold, so it gives a nice little kick to our uh, um, salad here. So, make sure you get it all in. Like I said, if you don't like onions, don't add them. If you don't like celery, don't add them. But I will say the celery adds just a, a nice aromatic to it. It's just, it's kind of refreshing. All right, so let's do our, our sweet relish. Said we'll start out with two tablespoons. Just kind of see. That might be enough. We might add some more. We'll see. And then our Dijon mustard. We're just going to go for it. We're going to put a big old squirt. Probably equals about two, three tablespoons. Start with that. All right. So all we got to do is get this right here mixed up. So everything's just kind of hanging out there together. And a nice little creamy mix. And at first you would think with all that chicken this wouldn't be enough, but you'll be surprised that it's, it's the perfect amount. So now, now that we have this all mixed in, mm, looks good. Do I want more relish or not? Yeah, let's live on the edge. Put just a little more relish in. I think mustard were good because we have that nice pale, pale yellow look to it. So I think, yeah, I think that's exactly what I want. All right, let's get our chicken. Get that put in. Now here you put half of it in. You can put all of it in. However you want to do it. I just want to get all that put in. See, like this, it's going to make a lot. Because normally for lunch, I just pack some like turkey breast sandwiches or chicken breast sandwiches. So this is always nice to have to eat off for a couple days at lunchtime. Let's get right in the bottom here, get it all mixed together. And at first, if it looks kind of dry to you, just give it a minute. Give it a good stir. And you can hear the, the moisture in it, and I think that's good. And I leave it like this because I do mayonnaise my bread. I think it's just a habit that I do that. But if you look at this mix, everything, all the chicken's coated beautifully. So let me get a couple pieces of bread toasted up, and we'll get the sandwich built. But right there, that is amazing. Oh, almost forgot. Got to add some pepper. Like I said, you can add salt at this point if you like, but I'm not going to because the rotisserie chicken has plenty of salt. So I'm just do a nice generous pinch of pepper. Get all mixed in. Like so. All right. That'll work. Let's go ahead and get our bread toasted up and get the sandwich built. Now to start out with building the sandwich, like I said, I like to put a little bit of mayo on it. I think it's just habit that I put mayonnaise on everything. It's almost like the glue if you have like looser. Doesn't need to be a lot, but like with your lettuce, that's a little bit of glue. It's almost like gonna hold it down for you, so. We'll just do it that way. All right, there's that. Everything over here. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're just going to take our little piece of romaine lettuce here, put it up there, take our tomatoes, set them there. Now we'll just throw some, some of our chicken salad right on the top. I like, I like a big sandwich, so we're just going to load it up here. And I did put it in the refrigerator for just a minute, just let everything kind of firm up a little. That's what I love about this Pepperidge Farm bread. It's about the about a slice and a half 
wide compared to just your normal wheat bread and stuff. Let's put a little more on there. I'm an adult. I'm allowed to eat big portions. There. Now you will see we have got everything right in there. This thing is packed full. Let's see if we've got it. Ooh, yeah. That right there is a beautiful sandwich. All right. Let's get her a little cut. See what she looks like. Try it. Here comes the moment I've been waiting for. Sink my teeth into this one. Look at that. That is just, just gorgeous. Mmm. That turned out so good, especially on that bite. Once I hit that tomato, it's going to burst. So next time you're at the store, pick yourself up a rotisserie chicken and make yourself some chicken salad. Make a nice sandwich out of it. I don't think I don't think you'll be disappointed whatsoever. So again, thank you so much for tuning in to uh, another episode of Cook It Simple with Eric. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share if you like the video and. Till next week, I'll see you then.